My name is Michael Gallmeyer from the University of Virginia. Today I presented my work on exchange traded funds and their impact on financial markets. In the past few years we've seen a tremendous sea change in the asset management industry with more and more investment vehicles that are passive based. Instead of having an active managed fund, instead they are rule based portfolios that are now largely contained in exchange traded funds or traded via exchange traded funds. And our work asks, in particular, does trading these ETFs and instead of the individual securities impact the underlying risk in these markets? What we find overall is that the price impact of exchange traded funds in financial markets is not particularly large, even though there's a consensus in industry is that trading more ETFs might lead to higher volatilities in these markets. However, what we find is that while what happens is investors must reshuffle their portfolios on how they trade these risks, we don't see elevated risks due to the existence of exchange-traded funds. My name is uh, Nils Dietering from the University of Munich, and today I presented work on model risk called uh, Measuring the Model Risk of Contingent Claim, which is joint work together with uh, Natalie Peckham from Berlin School of Economics and Law. Mainly what we try to uh, develop is a framework that allows banks to assess model risk in a coherent way across the entire trading book. So it's really the risk um, the bank faces when, when they choose a model to, to hedge uh, some liability, some uh, resulting from the sold option, for example. They use a the model to hedge their risk. And by using this model, they automatically face model risk. And this is what we want to capture and provide a way for them to derive a capital charge, to put, take some capital in case they suffer a loss because they have chosen the wrong model, for example. My name is Jero Rombauts. I'm from SEC Business School. Uh, my name is Francesco Violante. I'm from Creates Aarhus University, Denmark. And today we presented a paper on the estimation of Barents Risk Premium which is a quantity that lately has become very relevant both for researchers and practitioners because it reflects to some extent the price that agents attach to risk on the market. The conclusion of this analysis is that uh, the, the Ferenc Swiss Premium, how it is computed today with uh, some assumptions that uh, are not always in line with reality that we observe in the market. So the Ferenc Swiss Premium we define allows for uh, dynamics and, uh, and features that are observed in the markets like regime switches and, and market fear that is all of a sudden there in the market that allows us to better understand how predictive return regressions are performing in this context. Uh, the main advantage of our research uh, that we present today is that we can really identify why this French Swiss premium is moving and in, in what quantity. And then we can also relate it to uh, the market uh, conditions.